Hi everyone, I'm Charles Jung. On January 18, we had the opportunity to mark a truly special event, which was a celebration of 100 API judges in California. We welcome judges and API bar leaders from around the state, including from Southern California, Los Angeles, Sacramento, Solana County, South Bay, San Jose, to San Francisco to mark this achievement. Please enjoy a clip of California Supreme Court Justice Ming Chen as he discusses the importance of the milestone and also the importance of supporting an independent judiciary. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. I'm really happy to be one of 130. It was very lonely when <laughs> Harry and I were by ourselves. So we're uh, happy that uh, Karen has come to the First District. It's about time. Um, this is a remarkable accomplishment. Um, it was not easy, but good things are never easy. Um, I was once the chair of the Commission for Impartial Courts, and I'm happy to see David here as part of the uh, legislative branch because it is so important that we all work together to maintain the independence of the judiciary. I was very happy that Governor Brown at Justice Roman's induction said there is no such thing as a Brown court. The people I've appointed to the court do not agree with each other on every case. Every justice on the Supreme Court is independent and they make decisions based upon the facts and the law of that particular case and nothing else. It is so important that we all remember that, whether we, regardless of what minority group we come from, because the independence of our court system is paramount. When I applied to be a judge, one of my comments in the PDQ was, I will be most proud when it is no longer unusual for Asian Americans to hold the kinds of positions it has been my privilege to hold. I am happy that that has now come to pass. When I was on the Commission for Race and Ethnic Bias, many people in this room were on that commission, including Harry, and I said to them, in order for us to promote Asian Americans or any other minority as a member of the bar, it is important for each of us who now hold those positions to do the very best job on every case that comes in front of us and take nothing else into account when we preside over those cases. Having reached this mark of 130 judges, I kind of feel like a bookend. It was nice to be there when it started. Um, but the other end of that uh, book uh, holder is my son Jason, who was appointed to the Alameda County Superior Court in November. So Jason and I are the Could have done this without your support. I see so many good friends in this room. You have been supporters throughout all of my career. I hope you will be supporters of Jason and his contemporaries in their careers. Thank you. It's been a terrific honor. You can see the full video by clicking here. If you enjoyed this clip, please click like. To see more content like this, please click subscribe. Thank you.